Well, uh, I think so many promises, yeah. and so far it's empty promises. Uh, no realization of the promises and pledges that's been said and also uh, witnessed by the people in the country. And uh, I think there's also a book here yeah, uh, that compiled all the pledges and promises. Let me show yeah, this book around 100 pages yeah, of uh, this administration uh, by Jokowi and Jenka. Uh, so many promises that, of course, the people hope that it can be uh, all those promises can be realized. For example, they will build 50,000 puskesmas, that's a village health center, something like that, uh, in five years. Yeah. 50,000. That means in each day they have to build 27 puskesmas, yeah, healthcare center for uh, something like that. So many promises that have been uh, fulfilled. Mm -hmm. We will go into the details of that, but uh, okay, first promise was the economic growth. Right, uh, 7%. 7% of economic growth. What do, you, what do you think of that? I mean, for, for him, his defense was that, you know, uh, we're facing a global slowdown and it was all external environment. But do you think um, it, we can attribute everything to the external environment or, you know, it's partly his uh, failed policy? Yeah, of course, it? there's an extra factor, definitely. But uh, what is the policy intervention? It's very important. Yeah. The policy intervention to tackle this uh, rupiah depreciation against the uh, US dollar. Uh, the currencies that's most important and we have seen uh, the effort is not there and also the policy has failed so far this uh, first package and the second package also uh, not succeeded in slowing down the negotiation of rupiah and now rupiah is uh, in the weakest since 1998 yeah so it's not uh, about external factor but also the policy intervention yeah. I admit there's a extra factor, but uh, from our side, uh, from the government side, there's no uh, policy intervention that is correct and trust. So the market uh, has not trust the government. I think I came to that conclusion already uh, with the 4.6, 4.7 growth, yeah? not 7% or not uh, the targeted like 5.5, 5.8. So I think uh, this is not only the monetary crisis, but uh, learning from the past, yeah? from 1998 experience, from monetary crisis to economic crisis, social and political crisis, but then at the end is a leadership crisis. So I think we are facing a leadership crisis here. Can you give some examples on that? What do you mean by the policy intervention? Uh, like, you know, what, what, I mean, if, I mean as, as far as I know, he, um, he did um, try to stem the declining um, economy. But what, what, what were the failures uh, that, that you see? Yes, I mean, the failure is very obvious. The rupiah is uh, launched uh, to the lowest level. And all the intervention by the first and second package has failed. Yeah. So I think that is the problem. The policy intervention may be wrong and maybe this is not about policy intervention anymore. But this is about the trash, the governing, the leadership and so on. But um, you know, some of the things, for example, uh, for Indonesia to rely on the export of commodities, let's say, um, you know, that there aren't many uh, productive, um, um, what do you call it, uh, economy, Domestic economy. They said there's there's no there's not much manufacturing going on in the country, and these these policies take time to to. Well, I, actually, you know, our domestic market power is very strong still. Yeah, we have a very powerful domestic market. So if the government really.
try very hard yeah. to uh, focus on the domestic market, then I think we can still maintain uh, better economic growth than 4.6, 4.7. Yeah. So I think the policy also the agriculture sector uh, suffers on this. Yeah. And uh, he promises about um, getting 15 million jobs, but uh, on the contrary, I think now uh, because of the rupiah and US, uh, I mean, weaken, uh, I think a lot of companies also cannot survive and then uh, lay off the workers. He thought. This is about coordinating. So uh, this is not only about coordination, but also about capacity, capability of the minister to carry out, uh, to implement what he wants, yeah? uh, what he has uh, pledged to the people. So I think from the beginning, the formation of the cabinet is not the dream team. The formation of the cabinet is uh, not professional cabinet as he promised. Yeah, but uh, I think less than half are political parties, it's a political appointee. So it's like, we call it here Dagan Sapi, you know, the culture, yeah, because you support me, okay, I give you uh, the position. So that not uh, as he promised yeah, during the campaign. And, and, and the same would be for the appointment of the chief. Yes, too political, yeah. Uh, also the attorney general came from one political party, that uh, supported him. Well, actually, we criticize the chief of police, the general attorney should be professional from the police, yeah, from the career police, and also is from uh, the career uh, uh, attorney general. Yeah, should be like that. Although private consumption is high, but you know, mainly relying on commodities export to to grow the country's economy. That's it because there's not much production um, you know, beyond commodities in, in Indonesia and maybe it takes time. Of course, there's a declining on the export for uh, raw materials because of uh, the law, especially for coal and other uh, uh, materials, yeah, raw materials. But then uh, we can still rely on many trades yeah, uh, with uh, and domestically, and also the agriculture, you can uh, push for agriculture and infrastructure. The money is there actually. So, uh, but it's very difficult, yeah, without uh, the bureaucracy that supported him, yeah. And now there's a problem also with the bureaucracy because the bureaucracy is afraid of uh, KPK, this uh, corruption committee that can criminalize even for administrative staff yeah so that is also some uh, some uh, problem with that yeah, with the bureaucracy the reform of bureaucracy is ongoing but then uh, the what you call it the human resources in the bureaucracy to carry out such uh, ambitious uh, pledges and programs that he already uh, mentioned already yeah, to the people like Nawacita or mental revolution, so it ends with uh, only rhetoric after all. I mean, this statement came from the Megawati, yeah, the chairman of BIP. So it's a, just a party official who became uh, president. I think that's also problematic, yeah, because he doesn't have any political support. Yeah, and I heard that he want to establish a new political party. Uh, but then, uh, for the time being, it's very difficult. From uh, our side in uh, legislative, you know, from Indonesian parliament, I think we are very supportive to the program as long as for the benefit of the people. So we are not like in the US, yeah, even though the coalition is different who occupy the parliament, then uh, we try always to uh, support the government as long as for the national interest. Let's see this for one year. I mean, there is no uh, effort or uh, to stop the government. We even uh, we wish we don't even think to uh, shut the government like the Republican against Democrat in the U.S. Yeah. 
but I think we support, as I said uh, earlier, uh, we supported the government as long as for the national interest, for the people's interest. But then, if uh, it's not for the people's interest, we try to correct uh, or reject the government's program, something like that. But so far, I think there is no stumbling block from uh, the parliament. Uh, the situation is just exactly the same as before. Yeah, there is no progress, uh, and I think we have to evaluate also how to how we handle corruption yeah? and the definition of corruption itself, misuse of public money, uh, not you know to uh, why uh, that can uh, become a hindrance for the bureaucracy, especially. Uh, executive and legislative and also judicative grants but then uh, we have to also evaluate our system to combating uh, corruption yeah if he wants to combat corruption uh, then uh, you have to think systematically the, where is the problem for example the problem with our uh, corruption committee is too strong it can also uh, tend to abuse of power like the previous one yeah uh, because it's too strong. For example, when uh, they already judge a person as a victim, uh, or I mean, as a uh, you know uh, of a abuser. A abuser, then uh, there is no way back. Something like that. Yeah. So uh, also for other uh, uh, case, yeah. For example, like for penyadapan, yeah, this. Uh, What's it called? It? Uh, there's a problem with that. The corruption definition already too wide. Yeah, uh, it's not only misuse of public money, but also if you uh, make a wrong decision or something uh, that also uh, related to policy, it can also be judged as corruption. So this create. Uh, what you call it, uh, the problem with the bureaucracy. They don't want to hold a project or program because they're afraid to be accused as a corrupter. Yeah? Even, uh, for example, they don't take the money, but they uh, put the wrong signature, they put the wrong, uh, uh, for example, administration staff, yeah? uh, wrong decision on administrative staff. So uh, that is, I think, uh, the problem. With, uh, so if he wants to make uh, the combat corruption succeed, then I think uh, he has to revise the law, yeah. revise the law uh, of uh, corruption committee and bring up the police and uh, attorney general also to combat corruption. So it's not only the duty of the corruption committee, but also the duty of the police especially and the attorney general and also people. Maybe they look necessary, but then I think the impact is not as he expected. Yeah. For example, we uh, receive a lot of complaints yeah, from the visa man especially, uh, because they uh, cannot sell the fish to the foreign companies. That's one thing. And I think uh, so many complaints from all over Indonesia from the visa man. At first, maybe it looks very patriotic yeah, to sink uh, the illegal fishing boat, something like that. But then uh, it became like uh, it's, uh, for you know, uh, become for uh, what's it called? Uh, branding. Yeah, branding. Yeah, so so it became uh, this is like for pencitraan or for branding. Yeah, it's, it's nothing for public relations. Uh, nothing for uh, what you call it. Uh, really 